Do you have anything you'd like to say? How about the hats? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is Saturday and I uh, got Scott with me again we just went to our little local kind of like it's a new little coffee shop that's opened up downtown in our town here and really good I got a mocha latte and Scott got a just regular drip coffee <laughs> he's not all fancy and stuff <laughs> But when we came downtown, well, I heard the sirens when we were leaving the house, ambulance and police sirens. And when we got downtown right on Main Street, there was two cop cars, two ambulances. There came a fire truck and some other like Volunteer. civilian vehicle with flashers and stuff on it. So we're currently sitting here because the EMS has gone and there was a woman out front walking, pacing back and forth on the phone crying. So, we don't know what happened. We're sitting here, um, you know, waiting to see what happens. So, <laughs> that's what's going on. But we're getting ready to go to garage sales. Okay. Um, we've only gone to two garage sales, but pretty good. Not too bad. Um, this last one I went to, I've never seen anything like this. It's a jar shaped like a Coca-Cola bottle. And the top comes off. Like it's a, like that. Lady said she kept straws in it, so I don't know. Pay two dollars for that. It does have uh, the year on the bottom is from 1995, so I guess that would be considered vintage. <laughs> so anyway, two for that. Um, this right here is dirty, but I'm gonna clean it up. It's gonna be awesome. It's just one of those three tiered, and I don't know why she has these little glass bead things on there but anyway uh two dollars for that okay i got these two i probably paid a little bit too much for these but i liked them i thought they were really pretty they're these decorative boxes look like that and they have a handle on the top just metal there's this size and then there's a bigger one i paid five for those i got this <laughs> I texted my sister because I think my sister, my brother-in-law likes The Simpsons. I think he likes The Simpsons, Simpsons and Married with Children. But I saw this and it, they only wanted a dollar. It's The Simpsons. Uh, it's a Christmas ornament and it's Homer Simpson. It's called Dope Tannenbaum. <laughs> That's what it looks like. He's pulling a Christmas tree. Ooh. So only a dollar for that. I, I thought, nah, I'll pick it up anyway. <laughs> if, Jerry, if she didn't want it to put it on the tree, then I'll just put it in my booth. <laughs> and then I got this bag. I love this bag. It's a big, it's got UK, and then on the inside, it's reversible. Got UK. Um, dollar for that. It's not too bad. We're doing pretty good so far. He's looking for the next sale, so we'll catch up to you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know myself. I usually figure out the night before what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll try to give him a call if I have one. So we are at, we're stopped at, there is a, the Amish people come and they set up their little like fruit market thing uh, every Saturday. So me and Scott usually on Saturdays while we're out garage selling, we'll stop here and get some, well until our tomatoes come in. We've got our garden planted, but our tomatoes won't be ready for a while. So we stop here and sorry, my husband's wind is down. <laughs> Let me roll it That's up. better. Uh, so we stop there and get tomatoes. I usually get sourdough bread there. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, they have fried pies. So they have like apple and blueberry, um, all homemade. Oh, so good. So that's what he's doing. And then we're almost done with our coffee that we got downtown. So I thought my, we might get some more. There's this place over here, if you can see right here out of my window, it's called Boomerang Coffee Bar. And they just opened. They've not been open for maybe 
probably two or three months and I've never gotten anything there but it's just basically a coffee bar that's what we're doing right now <laughs> still garage selling so hopefully we can find some more good stuff for you guys okay Scott got more than just tomatoes this time <laughs> pretty good looking tomatoes there's a gold one and like four red ones fresh broccoli <laughs> we got some banana bread four dollars kind of expensive but I know it's good. And a dozen eggs. <laughs> so, pretty good. How much was all that? Fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. <laughs> oh, you have it in there the whole time. Okay, we're at the post office. There goes Scott taking my package in. <laughs> the purse diva, purse radar person has scored. <laughs> okay, uh, hit the jackpot on some purses. Got this coach, very cute. Uh, nice on the inside, nice and clean. You probably can't see that, but nice and clean. And it came with this, so pretty cool. Thinking back what I paid for all these, I probably should have offered her less, but that's okay. I'll still be able to make money off of it. Um, so anyway, there's that one. This, um, like, briefcase, kind of all leather. Um, inside has, it, this isn't vintage or anything. The inside has the C's, but inside is in really nice shape. Um, the outside, <clears throat> the corners do have some wear. But I will take this home, uh, clean it, condition it, and on the corners, probably put a little bit of uh, polish and just kind of buff that out, and it'll be good as new. This Dooney and Burke I thought was really cute. Um, a little dirty on the top, but this is cloth, so I'll be able to clean that. Not a big deal. Inside's hot pink. So that's pretty neat. And this Dooney and Burke. It is like a zebra print with red trim. Um, inside of this is nice and clean. And yeah. So $50 for all four. So that's about right at $12 each. Something like that. Um, this one, the Dooney and Burke, I should probably be able to get about 48 for this in my booth. This one, probably 38. This messenger bag, I should probably be able to get about 58 for this because I sold a Cole Haan one in, um, in my antique booth last year, year before last, and got 68 for it, and it was leather. It was almost identical to this, but it was Cole Haan instead of Coach. And this one here, probably about, since it has the little wallet wristlet with it, probably about like 45. So, not too bad. I'll, I'll definitely uh, make my money back. <laughs> um, and then a few more things that we picked up. This right here I got for a dollar for my baby baskets. It says, boys, 90% mischief, 10% dirt, 100% fun. So, I thought that was really cute. And then I got a couple of baskets for my baby baskets. So, 
We're leaving the post office and continuing on. <laughs> when you do, will you call me? Yeah. <laughs> well, you Put your goodies in. It is. Hold them good chips. <laughs> How much are your shoes? Two dollars. That's a pair now, not two dollars each. Two dollars. You know this is true. No, but I've seen her. Wait a minute now. Don't tell us if you can get it. You'll know who you look like now. You may not ever. I got two sisters about 15 years older than me. Barbara E. Step's daughter. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I'd have never, I'd have never left that. Okay. Just scored on some vintage tablecloths and tea towels. <laughs> I got 22 vintage tea towels and five vintage tablecloths and one of the tablecloths has the napkins that go with it for 30. So that was pretty good. I'm excited about that. I'm not going to show you right now because it would take forever for me to show you all that. So I'll have to show you at a later date. <laughs> She had like one hanging under a picture or whatever, you know. Yeah. I don't know what that's what I Well, that's, what, that's, the way, that's the way Mama had mine. She put one up under a picture and then she'd take it out of the way and put somewhere else under a picture. Yes. You want them? Yeah, hold them. All right. I'll take them outside here where Linda's at. How's that? <laughs> I wanted something to remember by. She was off when I used to my makeup. So. But I wanted to bring Kim by. She got books and Kim loves to read. Oh, oh, There's some purses. She's probably already been through them. Bears. There's some hats, Tam. I 
starting to get hot. Um, we just left an estate sale. Didn't know that that was going on, but the garage sale we went to before that was the next street over, and those people, actually, I know those people. So, they tell us about the estate sale. We went over there, found some few good things. Um, evidently, they had it yesterday, too, and I didn't go out yesterday because I couldn't find anything advertised, so I don't know what the deal was. So, anyway, a few things, but it's in a box wrapped up some glassware and stuff, so I'll have to wait and show you guys a little bit later, maybe when I show the linens. air all wild oh my gosh um yeah it's getting really really humid outside the only thing i have left to show you guys is what we got at this last sale because um the vintage tablecloths and tea towels i'll wait for another video and the stuff that i got at the estate sale i'll wait for another video for that too because it's just it's boxed up so anyway got some ball hats got this cincinnati reds uh ball hat it's a fitted Hat. It's 59.50 and the size is seven and three eighths. St. Louis ball hat, MLB. It's also um, a fitted hat and Steelers. And on the back here, it's got Mitchell and Ness. I guess that is the brand Nostalgia Company. Mitchell and Ness, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, vintage collection, and it's just a snapback. So I uh, paid a dollar each for those. So not too bad. Um, all in all, it was a pretty good day. Um, found some, some pretty good stuff. I can't wait to show you guys the stuff from the estate sale and the vintage tablecloths and uh, tea towels that I got. Do you have anything you'd like to say? I bought the hats. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I never bought you anything. Yeah, actually he did buy the hats. I forgot to say that. Why do I keep forgetting to say that? <laughs> I'm just a pack mule. He's just the pack mule. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.